Hello and welcome back to the fourth chapter of Waveform Generators Part 3. We will continue with the presentation in sweep generators. Earlier we have seen the Miller sweep circuit. Now we will see the in this presentation bootstrap circuit and current time based generator. So bootstrap circuit bootstrap circuit consists of two transistors the Q1 and Q2. The first transistor is acting as a switch. Uh, whereas the second transistor is used as an emitter follower that is a unity gain amplifier. So we are considering a situation where initially where the transistor Q1 is in on state and Q2 is in off state. Therefore the capacitor C1 is charged to VCC through the diode uh, a small forward resistance RF say. Uh, at this instant the output voltage V0 is 0 v0 is the output voltage across the emitter resistance re so when a negative pulse now is applied to the base of the transistor q1 it turns off q1 since transistor q2 is in uh, is in emitter forward therefore the output voltage v0 is same as the base voltage of the transistor q2 thus as the transistor q1 is turned off the capacitor C1 starts charging this capacitor C through the resistor R. As a result of this both the base voltage of Q2 and the output voltage begins to increase from 0. As the output voltage increases the diode D becomes reverse biased. It is because of this uh, because of this fact that the output voltage is coupled through the capacitor C1 to the diode. Since the value of a capacitor C1 is much larger than that of the capacitor C, the voltage across capacitor C1 virtually remains constant so as the voltage drop across resistor RC. So due to that the current through the uh, current through the resistor r is ir also remaining constant and the capacitor c is charged with a constant current in this in view of this the voltage across capacitor c and hence the output voltage is made to increase linearly with time it may be since that the circuit pulls itself up by its own bootstrap because of this the circuit is called as bootstrap sweep circuits when the negative pulse is removed from the input of the transistor q1 then the capacitor c is discharged rapidly through q1 and the output voltage re returns to zero now the capacitor c1 is again getting charged to the voltage vcc through diode d so there is charging and discharging of the capacitor c by c1 another cap large value capacitor and uh, in this way sweep circuit is generated second is current time based generator in this circuit uh, the transistor is used with a, a coil and a diode and resistors are connected across the coil when vcc supply is given across uh, when vcc supply is given to the transistor the q1 is operating as a switch and uh, the getting voltage applied at the base of the transistor is between the voltage levels v1 and v2 the lower level that is v1 keeping the transistor in the cutoff state whereas the upper voltage level v2 keeps the transistor or drives the transistor into saturation state so when the transistor's switch is turned on then neglecting the effect of the small saturation resistance rcs the current through the through inductor il increases linearly with the time 
and it will increase up to the sweep time Ts. The diode D does not conduct during the sweep time because it is reverse biased. Uh, now the current growth through the inductor IL is given as VCC by RL plus RCS multiplied with 1 minus E exponential RL plus RCS by L times T where RL is the coil resistance and if the sweep time Ts is uh, less than the time L by R RL plus RCS then the above expression can be written as I equal to VCC by L into T. So when the voltage across the uh, at the getting voltage as the getting voltage is at uh, V1 level the voltage across co collector emitter is VCC and when during the switch, switch, uh, switch turn on time or saturation time the voltage across the collector emitter is returning to a small value VC sat and when the negative uh, when the voltage at the getting uh, base of the transistor is brought down to V1 level then a uh, high current will be running uh, discharging through the diode and register that increases the voltage across the collector emitter even beyond VCC by a factor IL into R. What are the uses of the current time based generator? So current time based generators are used in the circuits where output current is linear function of time over a specified time intervals that is sweep time. Time based circuits are used by radar system to determine the range of the target by comparing the current location along the time base to the time of arrival of radio echoes. It, the current time based generators produce very high frequency sawtooth waves especially designed to deflect the beam in cathode ray tube that is CRT smoothly across the face of the tube and then return it to the starting position and here we have the factors that are considered while designing an oscillator or a specification or characteristics that are considered are these are the eight factors frequency frequency of oscillation that is then frequency stability we need to produce a stable output and should not be changing then jitter and phase noise should be reduced the output signal should be a voltage wave or a current wave the supply voltage and the running on it will be either the voltage or current or the operating temperature will decide the package style as well so here is summary of what we learned so first we saw the bootstrap uh, sweep circuit which consisted of uh, two transistors q1 and q2 q1 is acting as a switch and q2 is a unity gain emitter follower amplifier and in this the capacitor c1 is initially charged to vcc and when q1 is turned off by application of a negative pulse so during this period c1 starts charging the capacitor c through uh, uh, current ir and the voltage across capacitor c1 and the voltage across uh, r are virtually remaining constant due to large value of capacitor c1 then c and when the negative pulse is removed at the base of the first transistor then the capacitor C will discharge through Q1 so in this way charging and discharging of the capacitor C 
at the base of second transistor is nothing but the output obtained and that output is coupled back to the first transistor collector and secondly we saw the current time based uh, circuit current time based circuit in which the output voltage or current is dependent linearly dependent on time that is the sweep time so in this circuit we saw the uh, transistor reacting as a switch and uh, the coil coil and the parallel connection of a diode and resistor and when the getting voltage is between v1 and v2 is applied the, when it when the voltage level is at uh, v1 then the transistor is in off state and when uh, v2 is applied then the transistor is in saturation state and the sweeping time is during the uh, voltage level v2 and during that time the voltage across collector emitter is vc sat thank you